I picked up this Wii with a whole set of consoles that were marked as four parts and not working. When I actually tested it, it works and it actually comes up on screen and everything's fine, but this thing is filthy. It's full of dust, there's scuff marks all over it. So in this video, we're gonna completely tear it down and give it a good clean. Let's get started. We're going to start by removing the Wii clock battery. Next, there are three screws along the top where the GameCube ports are. Underneath are four more screws of two different types. Back on the bottom, we have three stickers we need to remove and four more screws. So I learned in this process that taking apart a Wii involves managing a lot of very different screws. So if you're going to attempt this, please have a way to keep all of your screws organized in the order that you take them out. And underneath this rubber foot, there's actually another hidden screw. Turned on its side, there's two more screws hidden underneath stickers. With those removed, we can take off the faceplate and disconnect our LED cable. Now we can turn it back on its side and remove two more rubber feet to get to the screws underneath. And with those out, we can flip it over and finally remove the cover. Sometimes this metal shielding will lift up with the cover, but in this case it didn't. So I just need to take it out separately. With that off, we can remove four more screws to take out the disk drive. Underneath, there's actually two different connection points. One of them just pulls out, the other you need to lift the flap to disconnect the ribbon cable. And now we can unscrew and disconnect the fan. This is a good view of just how dusty this Wii is. Let's unclip this antenna to get it out of the way. There's four screws to remove this plastic piece and the aluminum underneath. We're going to take out the screw in the center. And we have two more screws to take out another plastic piece. 
And we also need to move this antenna out of the way. For this back piece, we have three screws to remove. And you need to be careful here. There's actually an extra nut sort of set inside this piece that can easily be dropped and lost. I forgot to set this piece aside when we removed the fan. There are 13 screws in this cover that needs to be removed. And then there are two longer screws that are slightly different over by the GameCube ports that need to be removed as well. And now we carefully lift the cover off and expose the motherboard. And there are four screws on the heatsink that need to be removed so we can pull the motherboard off of the back panel. We'll go ahead and disconnect our drive cables on the motherboard side. Then we can finally lift the motherboard up and out of the way. Now we can just separate and set aside these extra pieces. You can see the dust on the back panel just to see how it's gotten into every nook and cranny of this Wii. With everything separated, we can start cleaning. For the most part, I'm actually just going to be using a soft bristle paintbrush. This is great just to get in all the nooks and crannies to brush the dust out of the way without making a big mess that compressed air would. Occasionally, for some of the scuff marks, I'll pull out a toothbrush and some isopropyl alcohol or just my rag and isopropyl alcohol to rub them off. And now with everything clean, we can just put it all back together. And for the final touch, I bought some replacement door covers to go on the Wii. And now everything's clean, a much needed improvement over the dusty mess that we started with. Thanks for watching.
If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing for more.